how did this collaboration come about? Um, well, Bezzy is, um, is a producer, you know, um, and he's been making really nice music. I heard his, um, uh, one of his compilations on Euphonic CD, and I said, uh, you know, I think I should, like, collaborate with him. So I got a hold of him, and we were actually looking for each other. So we actually met up, and uh, we decided to collaborate, and I guess the rest just unfolds. This, the song has been getting a lot of buzz, mainly because of this collaboration. What's the song about, Bezzy? Um, well, it's more of a soulful love song, you can rather say. So um, it deals with uh, more of your, 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 your uh, soulful sounds, your, your uh, deep full meaning, especially from the vocals that uh, Ken's uh, uh, lyrically wrote. So, yeah, it's more of a soulful track. You've worked with absolutely everybody, and you've, uh, you know, especially that's big at the moment, uh, Ken. Yeah. Just talk to me about, you know, these collaborations, because some collaborations are just amazing. They're yeah. a natural chemistry. It's almost like meeting a brother from another mother sometimes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, it's, it's been very humbling, you know. You're working with different, um, different producers from all over South Africa. It's been uh, very nice, you know. Um, the different energies, the different um, insights. They, they teach you a lot of things. As much as uh, they stretch my, my creativity ability, they also, like, um, teach me a lot of things. So that, like, stretches me mm. as an artist. Who's the most difficult of the two of you to work with? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, we actually both. I think we're both quite cool. Don't you think, Daisy? No, I think actually think I'm a bit more difficult than kids because I mean whatever I say, you know, kids will be like, oh, okay, no, let's do that. But whatever he says, I'm more like, okay, no, 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 let's just rethink that and let's do it again. Then we can check if you okay with it. <laughs> this, this, this love between um, the trumpet and and the vocal and the ability, you know, it's not a lot of um, people that have the ability to switch between those two instruments. Yeah. I mean, I think of, when I see you play, I think sometimes of Bru, uh, 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 Brahu Masikela who had the uh, ability to, to switch, you know, between, yeah, two, to yeah. switch between the two, not a uh -huh. lot of people. When, when did you start developing that? Um, I was in a um, uh, brass band in high school, Springs Boys High Brass Band, you know, um, Mr. Brian Boucher, he's the one that actually taught me how to play the trumpet. And then I started playing them, uh, and then I stopped for a while, but then I later said, no, let me incorporate it with my music and, you know, and add more attributes to my acts. I think that'll make people more uh, interested in watching me. Yeah, mm. so I incorporated the two, and yeah, I'm still growing my, my skill, you know. Which one is more it. comfortable for you? <clears throat> nah, singing. <laughs> yeah, okay. singing is more Developing the other one. Yeah. Badly, a lot of people for the first time will, will see you and sometimes we don't know who the producers are behind some of the big songs. Mm -hmm. But what is your musical influence? Um, well, I think a lot of my musical influence comes from DJ Kent himself because of um, his, his, let me rather say, his unique sound that he uh, brings to all his tracks. But I think um, for long I've been exposed to music, you know, from a, a young age, from my parents, um, just music in the family itself, so yeah, I've just been exposed to a lot of music since then. Mm. From a compilation perspective, why yeah. compilation and not just a straight kids' um, vocal album out and this is me bringing, but yeah, you've gone with that term. Okay, um, uh, I think uh, I'm just trying to um, uh, break out as a solo act too. I was in a um, uh, group, um, yeah. The Ladies. And so then, uh, while I was still in the ladies, I still collaborated with different artists as Ken's vocal. So now the, uh, the main point of the compilation is to uh, make people um, know who Ken's vocal is before I actually drop my album. So people know that, oh no, Ken's vocal, he was on this song, this song, this song. It's just compiling everything into one portal and people can uh, indulge. Okay, I find you as this collaborative process between the two of you. Yeah. You're <laughs> busy working on your upcoming release. What are you busy working on, Bazzi? Um, well. I'm actually working on an album at okay. the moment, so I, I'm, I wouldn't, I'm not going to say when it should be done or when it will be released. But because yeah. you prepare yourself. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I'm, I'm working on an album and then I might release an EP as well um, as a follow-up to the album. And then, um, yeah, I know that's, that's about it from my side. And then as well, the I Found You music video is coming soon as well. So okay, and we're going to see, see that collaboration a little bit later. Oh yeah, yes, no doubt, cool. most definitely. Awesome. Guys, thank you very much for joining us in the studio. Thanks. It's Ken's Vocal and Bazzy B. Speaking to us about their soulful and eclectic single, I Found You. Of course, it le it's leading up to Ken's Vocal's upcoming compilation album due for release later this year. When later this year? Uh, we're looking at uh, the first week of December. It should be out for everyone too. Okay, awesome. And he's here with Bazzy B. We'll see that song a little bit later. Let us know what you think. Morning live at SABC.CN.